Hey everybody, I'm Jesse the Apple Ninja. In my day job, I'm actually the lead senior Macintosh engineer for a Fortune 5 healthcare company. And I just love to share this information about all the different Apple gear and, and, and stuff. And what we're gonna be talking about today is Apple's hardware diagnostic tool. It's really slick. Uh, you can boot it locally or through the internet. If your device is having some major issues and it can't even run it, from the device there it can run it from the internet and it's super awesome it checks a boatload of stuff i mean look at this huge list of things this thing checks out it is awesome it's checking everything you gotta uh, you gotta run this on your mac and uh one thing to note is that the diagnostics tool actually runs on hardware that is 2013 and newer if you have a device that's older than 2013 and new, or 2013, then you're gonna to wanna to use the Apple hardware test. You can see some notes on uh, down in the description about that. And so check that out if you have an older device. Um, let me just, oh, the other thing I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be going over how to run the diagnostic tool the easy way and kind of the geekier way. I, I like to add in that geekier way. Um, definitely want to do that before we get started though make sure you get subscribed definitely you got to support your Apple Ninja man hook me up and uh, definitely uh, I appreciate it a bunch because um, this thing's starting to grow and I'm loving it man I'm loving it and I'm loving the fact that you guys are watching this content um, all right so let's get this going oh one last thing uh before we get started make sure you watch all the way through because you got the apple ninja recommended site of the week coming up and it is it's another awesome one man i, I i'm i'm digging this being able to share the love with some of these people uh that are uh, major contributors in the mac uh and apple arena and actually just tech arena um all right so the uh um let's kick this off with the easy way to start up with apple diagnostics hardware test so what we're going to want to do is in order to start up off the local drive we're going to hold down the d key and that can be from a reboot or from a complete shutdown i've tested both they've done it both ways hold down that D key and it will boot up into the diagnostics. If you have a firmware password set on your Mac, what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to boot into the firmware boot option menu by holding down the option key and then hold it. Once you enter into the menu to select a hard drive, you're gonna then hold the D key. Um, to boot into the internet Apple Diagnostics hardware test. So let's say your hard drive is just totally, completely toast and you cannot get this thing to boot into the diagnostics recovery by holding the D key. You're gonna wanna hold down Option and D when you boot up or from a reboot. That will attempt to connect to the Apple internet uh, diagnostic servers and run the test from there. The way I'm actually going to kick it off is the geeky way. So if you want to cut out here and go boot your Mac up with the D key and connect with us in a minute here when I show you what it looks like, um, you can. Otherwise, you can follow along and open up a terminal session. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up a terminal, uh, command space bar, type in terminal, and command plus to blow that guy up. I'm just gonna paste the command in there and hit return. So this command is, I'm saying sudo because I need to elevate the command uh, the, with the privileges, the proper privileges uh, to run it with admin access. I need to say NVRAM because I'm setting this internet recovery mode and I'm setting it to diagnostic mode disk and what that means is it's going to boot 
my Mac up into the diagnostics mode uh, off the local disk. Um, if I were to run that and change disk on the end, so if I just hit Command Z and I arrow up and I write network right there, that will boot up off the internet uh, diagnostics. I want to do it off the local. Way quicker. So the diagnostics takes about four minutes to run and it really does not show much at all. It doesn't really show anything until the end when it shows you a list of codes. These codes, I have them all down in the description. These codes, you can see, you'll be able to take your codes and it'll give you the description of what's going on in it right next to the codes, right? So you'll be able to see, but I also have the codes down in the description if you need them for some other reason. Um, all right, let's kick this off. So I'm going to hit return. I'm going to type in a password and it took so now that i took my pat or uh entered in my admin password it set that and now all i got to do is type in uh, sudo reboot as you can see it says checking your mac four minutes remaining and no issue all right so after you set that command you don't have to do anything else you just reboot your device and you're you're back to normal. So now you you know how to run the diagnostics on your Mac. You're able to check to see if anything's messed up or whatever and maybe you got to you know, you got to get something repaired. All right guys, the Apple Ninja site of the week is Der Flounder. This site is an awesome blog. Rich Troughton's been contributing and, and owning this site and building it out since 2003. If you look at this guy's um, list of archives, I mean, this guy has been writing stuff for years. And it's just amazing. That Give the guy some love. Um, he's got a ton of amazing content. And actually, this is a, a book that... Uh, he uh, co-wrote and uh, authored with Charles Edge, another really big uh, person in the Mac industry, and that's an awesome book. So check it out. Um, give the guy some love, and I hope you guys had an uh, uh, awesome time with this video. Definitely hit the like button. Uh, leave comments if you have any ideas around what to do with this or if you've used it or whatever. Uh, I want to hear your experience and you guys have an awesome week. Take care.